Hey, what's up, guys? I haven't made a video in a few days because my eyes been all fucked up. Anyway, for all you good people out there in the Midwest, I'll try and swear less in these videos. Anyway, a couple of things I wanted to bring up was... <coughs> um, with that setup video I made, I had to record my... A meeting between me and the, the house owner. He wanted me to hand over my my phone and my laptop. And after about 15 minutes of this, I told him that the conversation was being recorded. He basically said, you need to hand over your phone and your laptop or you need to move out. So after I said the conversation was being recorded, they backed off. I'll have to convert that file. I mean, it's it's basically 33 minutes of complaints about the fucking manager's gas and I'll, whatever. I'll get to that some other time. But I wanted to talk about um, <coughs> a couple of things you can do for like if somebody's hacking your your laptop or your cell phone. Um, one thing I was started to do was I started wrapping my phone in aluminum foil. Turn it off and wrap it in aluminum foil because that will block any cell signals that you'll get. And I want you to notice how how the gang stalkers will lose you uh, for well for how the gangster how the harassers how your harassers will lose you at first and then you'll notice how they kind of start to crowd you it'll close in a little more as you as they start to realize that your phone is off and that it's just completely blocking all GPS signals and uh, like I was saying my phone my computer somebody was trying to get into it like a fucking like 40 times since October 18th it's Anyway, I have that wrapped up in aluminum foil, like a fucking, like a slab of ribs or something, and uh, I haven't been able to use it, but I haven't had any worries either, and uh, another thing is, <coughs> they, whoever these people are, they just moved somebody into my house, and I can tell this guy's really weak, he's, uh, he's a gang stalker. And, um, he doesn't, I mean, how do I want to say this? Everybody in my house really likes me. I get along with everybody. You know, we joke, we laugh. Um, and I just noticed that that helps out a lot. I mean, it's, it's tough because if your neighbors are doing it, that's, that's one thing that you have to deal with. But if, you know, if you're in a situation with a lot of roommates, um, it's good to get them on your side. It's good to get them all to like you because that's going to give these people less power when they try and move somebody in underneath your roof. I'm talking really low right now because I'm in the house and I don't want, I don't want anybody to hear me, basically, any of my roommates, so, um, another thing is, a lot of people are concerned with, like, identifying their RFID chips and whatnot, I mean, that may be the case, everybody's protocol is different, but I don't think that, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think that chipping is even necessary nowadays, I mean, You've got these fucking chemtrails putting all this fucking barium and aluminum strontium, strontium into the atmosphere. And, you know, once it's inhaled, it replaces all your natural, all your natural, all the natural metal compounds in your body. And it basically creates, uh, we all have natural EMF conductive metals and compounds and chemicals in our bodies but what these chemtrail 
nanotoxin these neurotoxins and nanochemicals do is they make our bodies even more conductive to EMF frequencies and all that shit <coughs> that we're being bombarded with everybody everybody is breathing this shit in it's just that the unfortunate thing is as a targeted individual we're bombarded more heavily and I don't know I think this the fact that everybody breathes it in is what makes people more more susceptible to this mind control I mean and another thing is I if I were you what thing one thing that's helped me is I would start recording everything um probation probation check-ins work meetings negotiations arguments any of that shit because those recordings are going to help you if you need to if you need to review them or call upon them for some reason or if you need to bring it to the other person's attention that you had them recorded that will work to your advantage in many ways um can't really I should have had this written down because I'm kind of doing it on the fly but it will work to your advantage in many ways um one thing is that if you bring it to somebody's attention that you've recorded a previous conversation, you know, they will become fearful that you will use it against them. I mean, that's kind of the easy give me. But, um, and another thing is when you're recording and you're using your phone, turn on your do not disturb because that will keep any incoming phone calls that will block any incoming phone calls from disturbing the recording process that was why in my psychiatrist video um, there was only about 15 minutes of it because well I'm, frankly I think that was enough but there was only 15 minutes of it because my sister had called me and uh, well yeah that was um, to, if you're recording things with your phone arguments and whatnot, turn on your do not disturb, that will block any interruptions, <coughs> and uh, another thing I noticed is these these harassers, they do not like it when you bring out your phone, your camera, they do not like that at all, they will give you a wide berth, I mean granted, some of these assholes will, you will get brave and it, they act like it doesn't bother them, it doesn't shake them or whatever, but 95% of these people, they do not like it when you pull out your camera. <coughs> and uh, I think the pros and cons between using like Nikon is that when you pull out your Nikon and you start shooting somebody with that, I mean, they know that you're shooting them with a camera. They know exactly what you're doing. It's large, it's garish, it's in your face, it's a fucking camera. And when you use your phone, I mean, when you're using a Nikon, you can't upload it instantly. But that's the good thing about using your phone. And uh, well, there's a lot of obvious cons to using a Nikon is that it's not very covert, but when you want it to be in your face... It's good to have but with the phone. It's easily concealed. It's pretty easily concealed. It, uh, but it has less of an impact when you want somebody to know that they're being fucking photographed or recorded on video. Um, if you can afford a camera, it's it's a good idea to have a like a Nikon DSLR, single lens, reflex, digital camera, you know, um, <coughs> anyway, uh, let's see, <laughs> and kind of a long day, so let me, uh, yeah, your medications, your medications will only, 
the medications will only make you more susceptible to EMF frequencies, V2K and all that shit. Um, these, most of these antidepressants are fluoride analogs. They're fluoride compounds. I mean, I think a lot of us TIs know that. <clears throat> I think a lot of us empowered individuals know that. Um, but we, um, get off your psych meds. I mean, me, I'm, yeah, I'm still taking mine, but I'm taking Topamax and Wellbutrin. I mean, it's not, uh, I've quartered my dosage. I plan on getting off the shit, and I suggest many of you do the same if you can lead a pretty normal life without it. Um... And these are fluoride compounds, and these take away any, these take away <coughs> that, these take away that aggression and your motivation impulses, and they, I mean, frankly, it, it, it's, it's cancer in a pill, and, um, um let's see what else. A lot of TIs ask, a lot of TIs will ask, why me? And frankly, there is no good answer. Let me be the one to tell you, you haven't done anything wrong. 99.9% .9 of TIs are hardworking, average Americans who lead perfectly normal lives. <coughs> um, they... They lead perfectly normal lives, and really, there is no good answer for as to what you've done in the past. You haven't done anything wrong. Let me be the one to tell you that a lot of these government contractors, they get off, they get more funding by putting you on a terrorist watch list, and that's what they do. They put you on a terrorist watch list because they get more funding for the government. There really is no grounds for screening somebody and putting them on a terrorist watch list. I mean, this whole program is so ridiculous that they're really, respectively, there is no <coughs> effective way for screening and vetting somebody and taking them off this list. That's what really kind of drives me nuts is because I, I don't know, I've found that my my whole abuse protocol, well, my, well, the watching for me started probably back sometime in 2005, maybe as late as 2008, but <laughs> they wanted me to be aware that I was being watched and harassed back in like 2013, but, uh, and another thing, if you find in the comments box that a lot of the different videos that you're watching are getting negative comments. Those are the guys you want to watch, okay? Those are the guys you want to watch because they're speaking the truth. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to say right now. <clears throat> I'll, um, I'll get at you guys with some more videos later. I'm going to go see what the hell my friend wants in the next room uh, but yeah try wrapping your phone in aluminum foil turning it off wrapping it in aluminum foil see how quickly you lose them and see how much see how much they'll crowd you as soon as they realize that your phone is shut off and that it's blocking GPS signals as far as living under the same roof when one of these harassers infiltrates you Try to get all the people you're living under your roof, same roof with on your side. It helps when they like you because that will give the gang stalkers less power, these harassers. Um, I mean, everybody's story is different. I hope this helps because in my case, I don't have family. I don't have family who does this to me. I don't, except maybe, well, I don't, I don't want to say, um, but my family is pretty supportive of me. Um, I know some of you guys out there, your families are in on this. 
and they harass you and they make your lives difficult and you know I'll, I'll probably I'll probably do some interviews and make a video about that um, but it's it's tough it's hard work you guys gotta keep your heads up oh shit you guys gotta keep your heads up and uh, you really have to stay positive you know but um, you know, start recording things start recording probation check-ins business meetings negotiations arguments all of that um, when you're getting an apartment you know record all of that and before you do turn on your um, do not disturb function so that you don't get interrupted while you're recording and uh, <clears throat> also if you're recording video turn the dimmer switch on your screen down so that if you're recording video covertly at nighttime it's less obvious to anybody who's behind you anyway um, that's pretty much pretty much all I got um, oh yeah another thing another thing is if these people watch you they walk around you've got community snitches following you around and telling fucking lies about you. So if you are, for example, if you are a white guy and you like, you know, you wear a mohawk and you wear camouflage pants with, you know, steel-toed boots, clean up your act. You might think about cleaning up your act. I mean, these people are going to follow you around and they're going to paint you accordingly they're gonna paint a picture accordingly they're gonna make you look like a racist bigot according on what you look like and if you fit the bill the rest of the world is gonna treat you that way <clears throat> and you're gonna wonder why you walk into Walmart and the manager is following you down the aisle two minutes after you walk in that might be why clean up your act a little bit and see how see how things change okay anyway i'll get i'm gonna get going for right now that's pretty much all i got thanks for watching guys